Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So I would like to show you today how you can cheat a little bit and make your UI your own. So first of all, let me explain what the UI is for the beginner. So first of all, let's assume that you have a great game, but it's lacking information. You don't have how many lives you have or how many time is left. So therefore you have something like a transparent layer in where you put all those informations like Mario's life, like the name of the level and how many points you have. But you are also free to put other informations in, like let's say how many shoots you still have and how many time left you have. And maybe a little small and nice um, health bar. And I show you now how it's done. Good! For the ones who have not followed my tutorials, I show you very quickly where you find the UI camera of the Corgi engine. So it's under Corgi engine, common, and then under prefabs, GUI. Here you have the UI camera. You can drag and drop that in here, and then you suddenly see and the different elements that have been added from the UI. So like in this case, the Corgi here. Let me make that, <clears throat> sorry, a little bit bigger. And uh, so let's go through it. I will not explain the details because if you want to have a little bit more in-depth um, tutorial how you can create the UI camera from scratch, that would be another scope. I will just really show you the easiest way to make that your own. So first of all, I think that not everybody will have here the Corgi engine mascot. So you go here under HUD and here you have the different elements like the jetpack the health bar, the avatar background and the avatar head. So what you can do is just go here to the avatar head and then go to the pixel and move it in here. And then you have here the new head. Well, I hope you have better, <laughs> better art than I have, but uh, this is how you can have it. And you can just move it around until you think, yeah, that's where I want to have it. And um, the background I can deselect because it really doesn't bring anything to the scene. And maybe now the head should be, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. So 0.01. Oopa. Yeah, well, good, good enough for me at least. Um, no, it's not good enough. I'm fooling everybody, telling lies to myself here. So, and in my case, I will not have any jetpack, so I can get rid of it. And if not, you can add it. And let's say you have a jetpack bar, then you can just go in here and see what the jetpack background is and what the foreground is. So it will go from a darker to, um, uh, it will go from a darker blue behind to the um, a lighter blue. But you can also say, well, no, I will have black and the jetpack front should be something like yellow. And so now you have yellow and if you want to play, let's, let's play that and <clears throat> have a little bit jetpack fuel. So you see it will go black in here. Okay. So the next thing would be the health bar. So I don't know what program you're using to make, let's say, your drawings. Um, I use GIMP, 
but again you can use whatever what is it paint shop pro whatever the people are using um you can uh, do your own thing i will show you what i have done in here so in my case when uh, in my game when i'm losing then i have here this word you see so if i lose then this word the the yellow part will get smaller and smaller and this is a game that i'm working on and if i keep the rhythm I think I will be finishing in 20 years very well uh, so in here you can choose your background maybe you want to have it again black and then that's it then you can start the game and go somewhere where you're losing a little bit of health and then you see it how it shrinks so i think that's it for the hud so i think that's good enough oh no i told you i will not use the jetpack bar good um then the next things are actually pretty similar it's about the level text and the point text so let's go here to the point text and well what you can do here is you have here the possibility to change the font size and well the font itself so let's say you want to go a little bit more retro then you go here for 8-bit wonder yeah and so there you have it and also for the level text it should be consistent so you take a nice font, which uh, the Rista font, which is a homepage who gives a lot of fonts for free. And yeah, you can download one that actually matches your uh, theme. For my part, that's okay. And yeah, the other thing I would like to take out is the frames per second counter that's in here well, let's go here so I personally like to have that while I'm testing my game just to know um, how good I'm performing and if there are some drops or not but once I want to compile it I will definitely not have this FPS counter so you can take that out maybe put something else in yep so the next thing is actually the pause splash which is a big cool thing and um, so what exactly is that you can just click on it and show it then you see this happens when you are clicking on pause and well to show it to you if your pixel i mean your character uh, which isn't on the prefab so in my case my character is pixie right so if I have here somewhere the um, character pause ability then I can click on pause while I'm playing so I'm playing here jumping around and then I can click on start to make the pause and what actually is happening is in the ui camera this pause splash will be activated and the moment i click back again it will be deactivated it's a very easy thing so this can be also altered to your need so first of all you need to activate it and then go in here and i would say you can maybe move that around let's say at the moment um it is stretched but in uh, on the sorry on the left side i would like to have it let's say on the center so you have seen i have switched to the center but nothing happened that's because the position keeps where you are you need to adapt the position so now it's really in the middle and then you have here the text and you can also go in there 
make the 8 bit wonder and go for every button that you see for the resume and uh, change that also to the 8 bit wonder. So, to make it quicker, I have now put everything here with the 8 bit font. And now, let's say um, you have now the resume, you have the restart level and the level selection. So, this level selection is maybe something I should explain. If you go here to the level selection part, to the background, you see there is actually really one level selector script added to it. And so when you are in here, so when you have the MM touch button in here, he's actually referring to this level selector script. And here is go to level. So let's say in, in this case, it will go to the level, which is called level selection. Maybe you have another name for your one is world selector and that's it and then you have it if you don't have any selection level then maybe you should take that thing out and that's it um yeah i can only show you some dumb things like maybe having the white band in here maybe just a bit wider maybe change here a little bit how transparent it is so you can make it a little bit here your own and I think this is a very easy and nice cheap way to have your own UI just copy it and make it your own but now what I recommend is if you now take the UI camera and you go here to overrides and overwrite your um, your prefab from the Corgi engine, that would be not a wise idea. Uh, make it better your own, which means in this case, go to the UI camera, click here and say unpack prefab, which means he's now not referred to the prefab anymore. So now it's your own and then you can rename it, maybe. So your name, UI camera. And now that you have it, you can drag and drop it to your personal prefabs. Oh, look at that. You catch me how I did it already, right? Very well. And that's it. That's your UI camera. That's the very easy and cheapest way. Now, if you want to know more how this works, I can show you later uh, something like that the GUI miniature is the one that refers everything to the pause and the time splash and I don't know what. I can show you that these arrows in here are for the mobile. And buttons that you need and stuff like that. So if you want anything uh, more in depth, just let me know in the comments and until then, have a nice day. Cheers.